Heard of a sun dog? Sounds like a cool rock band, but it's actually a member of the halo family. These are optical effects in the sky created by a combination of the right sun angle and usually some high clouds. To better understand how the atmosphere produces these bursts of color, we need to understand a little something about light. Light is the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. The light we see is composed of all of the colors of the rainbow. Light from the sun is bright white, but we can see these colors by using a prism which breaks apart visible light into its component colors like reds, violets, and everything in between. In the sky, under the right conditions, water drops or ice crystals act as a prism. As light passes through the water or ice in high cirrus clouds, it is refracted or reflected and creates halos, sun dogs, and sun pillars. A halo is a ring of light that forms around the sun or the moon. A sun dog, also called a mock sun or perihelion, is a colored spot of light that develops due to refraction or change in direction of light through ice crystals. And the sun dogs are usually 22 degrees left or right of the sun. Finally, sun pillars appear as a shaft of light extending vertically above the sun, most often around sunrise or sunset. They develop as a result of ice crystals slowly falling through the air, reflecting the sun's rays off of them. If you have any of these pictures that you would like to share with us, here's where to send them. Again, typically we need high cirrus clouds around these to form these optical effects. And the high cirrus clouds can often be moving in ahead of an approaching storm system. That is your WeatherWise lesson for today. For WHAS 11, I'm meteorologist Caitlin Fish.